Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today's lesson is going to be over compatible numbers. Now what are compatible numbers? Well, compatible numbers are numbers that help us to add, subtract, multiply, and divide using mental math. Now it's important to know that when you're using compatible numbers to solve, you're not going to get an exact answer. That is not what compatible numbers help you do. Compatible numbers help you to get an estimate or help you to get an answer that's about your answer or close to your answer. Compatible numbers are also called friendly numbers. They help us to do mental math much more easily. So you can solve in your head much easier if you use compatible numbers. And I cannot talk about compatible numbers without also talking about rounding. You will be rounding when you use compatible numbers to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000. Let's look at an example of compatible numbers being used to subtract. Josh had 207 baseball cards. Jeff had 329 baseball cards. Rounded to the nearest 10, use compatible numbers to find the difference in the number of cards the boys had. Well, I know that Josh had 207 baseball cards, Jeff had 329 baseball cards, and I'm going to round those to the nearest 10. It told me where to round them. Well, 207 rounded to the nearest 10 is 210. 329 rounded to the nearest 10 is 330. And I'm supposed to find the difference of these cards. So 330 minus 210, when I subtract them, I get a difference of 120. And I used compatible numbers to get that answer. Let's look at another example. At the glitter convention, oh, I like it already, Mrs. Lozano bought a glitter covered scooter for $213 a glitter covered purse for $97 and a glitter covered wallet for $72. Use compatible numbers to find out how much Miss Lozano spent at the glitter convention. Now it's important to know I'm going to use compatible numbers and I'm going to round to the nearest 10. I am not going to round one number to the nearest 10 and then another number to the nearest 100. You need to round to the same place for each number. So 213 rounds to 210. 97 rounds to 100, and 72 rounds to 70. I rounded each of them to the same place. I rounded each of them to the nearest 10. Now I'm gonna add these up, and I see that $380 was spent at this convention. And my answer is B. Now we've talked about addition and subtraction using compatible numbers, and I'm gonna talk with you next about using multiplication and division and using compatible numbers to solve. Now, remember, you have to round, you're gonna be using rounding by the 10, 100, and thousands place so that you can do this and solve much more flexibly. It's gonna make solving so much easier if you round those numbers, and that's what compatible numbers are. Let's look at some multiplication examples. 38 times 22. I'm going to round 38 to the nearest 10, 40. I'll round 22 to the nearest 10, 20. Now I've made them compatible numbers. They're much easier to solve. I can use mental math. 4 times 2 is 8. I see that I have a 0 on 40 and a 0 on 20. And so I put those zeros at the end of my answer and I get 800. That is my answer that's close to the exact answer. Look at your next example. 47 times 61. Let's round to the nearest 10. 47 can round to 50. 61 can round to 60. Now I can use these compatible numbers. They're compatible with my original numbers. 5 times 6 is 30. I see that I have a 0 at the end of 50 and a 0 at the end of 60, and my final answer will be 3,000. It's not the exact answer, but it's an answer using compatible numbers. It's close to the correct answer and that will work just fine. Now let's look at some division examples. Division can sometimes be challenging to use compatible numbers with because you have to know your facts really well. So let's look at our first example, 629 divided by six. I'm gonna round this to a number that is compatible with six or it's divisible by six. And the easiest one that comes to mind is 600. 
Let's keep it simple. 600 divided by 6. I know that that's 100. So 600 and 6 are compatible. They're much easier to divide by to get an answer that's close to the original answer. Let's look at another example. 5,699 divided by 8. Well, I'm going to use compatible numbers to solve this. So 5,699, I want to round that to a number that is divisible by 8 or that's compatible with 8. And I know my facts. I know that 56 is a multiple of 8. So let's round it to the nearest, um, to the 100 before. And that would be 5,600 divided by 8. These are compatible. 56 divided by 8 is 7. I'm going to take my two zeros at the end and put those at the end of my answer, and that answer is 700. So 5,600 is compatible with 8, and I got an answer close to the original answer. Let's look at another example of division. 196 fourth graders were going on a field trip. All the students were going to ride on four buses about how many students rode on each bus? Use compatible numbers to solve. It's telling me to use compatible numbers. So when I look at these numbers, I'm going to find an estimated answer. 196, what can I change that to that is a close and reasonable number that's divisible by four? Well, I know my four multiples and I know that 20 is a multiple of four and I can round 196 to 200. That's very close to the 196 original original number. So 200 divided by 4, I can do that using mental math. 20 divided by 4 is 5. I have a 0 at the end. I'll put that at the end of my answer. So 50 is going to be my answer using compatible numbers. 50 students will ride on each bus. And that's division using compatible numbers. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the resources you saw in the video, please look in the description as to where to get them and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos in the future to help you with math. Thank you and have a great day.